This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25, verse 24, and it reads, Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. And before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai, or Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Chakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And basically the black woman strikes again. Alright. You know with you know this blasphemous statement here. Which it reads. Men lie so much. I'm starting to believe Adam bit the apple and blamed it on Eve. That's why Adam's apple stuck in their throat. You see. You know. You know, our women are, you know, completely out of control, all right? They really believe that this type of behavior, you know, is acceptable and that they're not going to be held accountable for these type of statements, okay? Or, you know, you know, deeds and behavior, you know, that basically, um, you know, that correlate with, you know, this, these type of statements, you see, you know? And, you know, we the prophets are here to tell you, if you don't repent, you are going to be judged by the Heavenly Father and you are going to die a terrible death. Okay? See, statements like this can get you killed real, real quick. Alright? Real, real quick. And let me uh, pull out this scripture here. Because it talks about these idle words, okay? It says here in uh, Matthews chapter 12 and 36, and it reads here, But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. See, you are accountable, okay, for, you know, your actions, and not just your actions, but the statements, the words that you say that come out of your mouth, Okay. And let me keep reading. Verse 37, Matthew 12 and 37 now. For by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words thou shalt be condemned. See, words can get you condemned. And see, statements like this. Alright. <laughs> how, uh, how she said here. Men lie so much. I'm starting to believe Adam bit the apple and blamed it on Eve. You know. Statements like this. This is going to get people judged and killed, man. All right? Terrible, terrible deaths. Because this is uh, blaspheming the Holy Spirit, man. All right? This is blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You see? And this, and this is why uh, a, a, a majority of our people, two-thirds in specific, are going to die grievous deaths in America because of, you know, things like this. And you see, we the prophets, all right, we're trying to tell you, look, this is not the way, all right? Hey, the, the, those statements that you're making is off. Those actions that you're, you're, you're doing, those deeds that you're doing are off. Repent, okay? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, you, you better get, you know, um, get right immediately. If not, you're going to have to suffer terrible things. And see, people, they don't take heed to our words, all right? And that's ultimately because the judgment, okay, or the judgments, they don't come quickly, okay? It says here in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and 11, it reads here, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. You see, since judgment doesn't happen right on the spot for the majority of the time, because I'll say this too, sometimes it does happen immediately. But for the most part, it doesn't, right? With that being said, people, you know, think they basically got away with their crimes, okay, their sins. So they continue 
to go on this downward spiral, okay, and just get more wicked and more wicked and more wicked until finally Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, judge you. They send those um, spirits of vengeance out to execute you. Okay? And you can die in so many fashions. You can get uh, shot to death. You can get run over by, you know, a car or a train. You can get, you know, um, eaten up by uh, 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 by some wild, you know, animals. Okay? You can drown. You can burn to death. So on and so forth. Those are the judgments of the Lord. Okay? But see, most people, they think everything's, you know, they they, they think that, you know, th you know, the, 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 the things that they do, you know, it's, they're not going to have to deal with these things. But it's going to uh, eventually happen. Because look, we all are going to have to appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, man. Alright? Alright, because it says here in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and 10, it reads here, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Okay, so we're going to receive, you know, uh, depending on your situation and what you did in your life, okay, you're either going to receive a righteous reward or a wicked reward, okay? You know? And hey, for the majority of uh, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, the two-thirds of you, you are going to get a wicked reward and you're going to die terribly. Okay? Like I said, more than likely, you know, you know, this woman, she's going to receive a terrible judgment. And that's because she's uh, uh, pushing out lies. She's being rebellious. Okay? See, she's just mad because, you know... She probably found, you know, a guy or two, you know, that she's dealt with so-called cheating on her, which men can't cheat, okay, on a woman. The only time a man can commit adultery is if he's sleeping with a woman that already has a man, you see? But that's a whole nother lesson within itself, all right? But point being, our women, they get upset, all right, that we Israelite men deal with multiple women. Okay? And with that being said, they believe that they can, you know, uh, uh, get revenge, so to speak, on you. Or they, they point the finger. Start making statements like this. You see? And the Lord's going to destroy, destroy women like this. The Lord's getting fed up with this nonsense. Because this stuff is just madness and wickedness. Alright? You women are completely out of order. Look, Eve uh, ate the apple, okay? Which that apple represents philosophies. The book of Hosea talks about uh, the fruit of lies. That's what Eve ate, okay? She ate the fruit of lies, all right? She ate the fruit of lies. And that's why I read that, that scripture in um the book of Sirach, all right? All right, it says this. Uh, hold on, let me get it real quick because I don't want to misquote it. All right, give me one second. That's why I read that scripture in Sirach, and it says Salakia yeah. twenty-five and twenty-four it says that the woman came to the beginning of sin. She's the one that you know started doing wicked deeds, and then what happened was she passed it on to Adam. Adam, he 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 became weak. Okay. He followed after his woman. And then he started, you know, sinning. Okay? And then what happened was... Alright? You no, know, he basically... Or they basically got exposed. Alright? They got exposed. You see? The well, point being, though, is the woman... Uh, of the woman came the beginning of sin. A a Adam didn't... 
they, they, they didn't start it. It was it was Eve. But see, these women, they, they don't want to deal with, you know, accountability and they don't want to deal with being the, the weaker vessel. All right. And that's because Esau, all right, the so-called white man. Has told them for, for, you know, the longest that they're right. That everything is good, man. Hey, he's that he he was that serpent in the garden. Because that wasn't a real snake, by the way. That was a, a, a man. Okay. You see? But see, point being though is the majority of our people are gonna get destroyed for this behavior. Alright, but let me go back to that um um this um uh, this Corinthians here. All right, because I want to read verse 11 as well. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, that every one may receive the things done in his body, according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay? And that's what we do. All right? Since we know the terror of the Lord, we know what the Lord can do. All right? We... Tell our people, look, if you don't get right, you are going to get put to death. There's no nice way to say it. We, we, we get graphic sometimes with the judgment. All right, with the judgments, you know. And that's because, you know, we want our people to repent and get right. Before those judgments come. Hey, this is true love. But see, the, our people think, think that, you know, uh, 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 um. You know, that we're, you know, hateful, okay? That we're rude. You know, that we're crazy, so on and so forth. They, 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 they just don't want to accept, you know, the things that we're saying. Because it doesn't uh, uh, fit their agenda. You see? But if you don't get on board with what we're, uh, with what we're saying, you will die uh, grievous deaths. It's not going to be pretty out here, okay? It's not. See, let me keep reading. But we are made manifest unto the Most High. Trust also uh, are made manifest in your conscience. All right, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me get um, let me get one last scripture here. All right, let me get this uh, let me get up. Uh, where's Zechariah? Yeah. Send it off with that Zechariah thirteen. All right. This is uh, Zechariah 13 and 8, and it reads here, And it shall come to pass, that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. See, two-thirds of our people, they're going to die terribly. Okay? And that's because they refuse to repent and get right. Now, hey, you may make, I'll say this, you may make, you know, some, um, or have made, some off the wall statements before, like this, right? You know, like that woman uh, 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 has made. Okay, you have made, you have, hey, we, we've all done, you know, terrible, you know, deeds out here. Okay, but the main point, or the main thing that the Lord wants us to do, is to 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 to, to uh, you know, it's to be humble, be meek, repent, and, 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 and continue to ask for, you know. Um, to ask for forgiveness and, and then change, you know, the, the wicked ways, okay? That's what the Lord wants. But that's, that's too much, okay? That's too much for our people, for the majority of them. And that's why they're going to die. But let me keep reading. It says here, And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is tried, or silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. And you see the one-third, they're going to re repent, okay? They're going to, um, uh, um, you know, they're, they're going to uh, change their ways, and they're going to follow the Lamb wheresoever he goeth, as the scriptures say in the book of Revelation, okay? You know, they're, they're, they're going to try to get right, and the Lord's going to see that effort, and he's going to acknowledge it. And he's going to, uh, you know, forgive them. Okay? And eventually he's going to give them salvation. Alright, from all, all, all this, you know, um, 
all, you know, all these perilous things that are coming to this world. These horrific, you know, deaths and, and judgments. Okay? But with that, you know, I'm going to end off this lesson. And, you know, hey, this is another reason why the two-thirds have to die, man. All right? And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.